Welcome back to another Plastic On Review! Woohoo! Now you can fight mighty battles with Triaxe and the Virox army! Recently, the minor battle skirmishes between these two countries erupted in full-scale war. Hundreds of land and air combat vehicles battled across the land. With their huge fighting machines, they staged the most massive battles ever. The largest armies in the world are in your hand. Take command! Megaforce, brought to you by Kinder. Some assembly required. Vehicles separately. Welcome back to another Plastic On Review. Today we're going to cover some more Megaforce. Yes, Trax is still at it because Trax has tons of vehicles. Let's move on to this guy that is also known as Tar Trax, which is a really weird name, but it makes sense considering this thing is a gigantic transport. This thing's got some really, really cool detail going on here. He's got so many guns on the front portion of him. Not to mention two of these gigantic guns here that would possibly bump into each other, especially if they wanted to fire, but I mean, they can crossfire. Get it? Crossfire? You guys remember Crossfire? Hang on. It's got these nice blue windows here, which shows where the uh, actual command center is. Not to mention this top turn here that does a nice little 360. Some great molded detail, and just this thing is pretty heavy. It's actually got a lot of weight to it, a lot of die cast in this guy. Lots of weird panel detail going on back here in the very back. Not to mention these nice big gaping hole here in the back. And you're going to find out what that's for here in a couple of seconds here. But just so much detail. They even detailed the wheels themselves when they roll. So, And they have these little chunks took out of them, which is kind of weird, but very cool. Oh, by the way, something I did fail to mention... Every one of these large vehicles has so much detail on the bottom. You guys can probably name so many toys that's come out in the recent years that have no detail on the bottom. What happened? Anyway, let's move on to the little gimmick this guy does. And you just push on this gigantic turn here on the back, and it slides out this whole assembly. Now you'd have to actually bend this down, which it will bend down successfully. You'll get a little bit of stress mark here, but that's kind of unavoidable considering this is supposed to be the ramp. For all the little vehicles to just drive right out of. And this thing can carry two vehicles on the inside. And not to mention, look at all the crazy detail in that day. I can see this thing as being like a mobile repair vehicle that can actually kind of rescue and pull these guys in so that way they can fix the vehicle here and let them back out. And it's got this really, really cool design here, which I always thought about this as being like maybe like a towing mechanism for pulling the vehicles up into this thing. I always thought it was weird that they came up with the name no tar tracks for this thing. But it would make sense because this thing probably could drive through tar just fine, especially with the wheels not having a straight, flat look and actually having a bit of gapness going on. And he does roll very well. That's what's really cool about it. Not many of the Mega Force vehicles roll, but this one here happens to do it. Anyhow, this has been Plastic on. This has been another quick review of another Mega Force vehicle, and I've got plenty more coming at you. See you around. Bye!